Today we're talking about the gun trucks of Vietnam. During the Vietnam War, the American military would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guerrilla fighting force known as the VC or the Viet Cong. And during Vietnam, per usual, America had air superiority. To counter this, the Viet Cong would begin attacking American supply lines. They would do this by ambushing our convoys. At this point in time, these convoys were very lightly defended, if at all. After these ambushes had proved devastatingly effective, the American military would identify the need for the truckers to defend themselves. To do this, they would commission a new weapon of war to be built, the V-100 armored vehicle. But it takes time to design, and then find the lowest bidder, military grade, and then have it built, and then tested, and then mass produced and shipped to the war zone. Time that the truckers on the ground did not have. So they did the last thing you would ever want an American to do. They improvised. Bearing in mind that it's never a war crime the first time, and it's always better to ask forgiveness than permission. They began taking the M35 deuce and a half, and the five-ton trucks, and they began a process that I can only describe as tactical arts and crafts. They would acquire armor plating and create a heavily fortified machine gun position in the cargo area of these trucks. They would also armor the cab to protect the driver. The chain of command would then authorize them to utilize the M60 machine gun from the back of these fortified machine gunning positions. But that wasn't really enough either. I'm not saying that the E4 Mafia exists, but if it did, that's exactly who they called. Because to gain more firepower, they began the strategic transfer of equipment to alternate locations. Steel, for short. They would acquire weapons like the M250 Cal, the Mini Gun, and other exotic unhealthcare utensils. For example, the Eve of Destruction was known for having a dual 50 cal naval turret. This fucking monstrosity. If you don't know much about guns and you're not quite sure what you're looking at here, that thing will blow out all the birthday candles on your family tree at once. And when the truckers in charge of the Eve of Destruction were asked how they acquired such a weapon, they said, and I quote, we borrowed it from a Navy ship when no one was looking. Could you imagine being the Navy guy responsible for that weapon? You have to explain to your chain of command that you don't know where it went. And if you don't know much about guns, the M60 is a great weapon, but it's something that you would use to kill a bad guy in a forest. The 50 cal, on the other hand, is something that you would use to kill a forest with bad guys in it. I'm trying to tell you that when these guys were conducting a convoy operation and the trees started talking, they turned into a mobile deforestation unit real fucking quick. These guys cleared more vegetation than a fucking forest fire. They wrote the book on the hardened convoy concept. They created concepts like TFF, turn, fix, and fuck. I mean fire. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, these gun trucks were basically miniature battleships. They would pull up sideways at the enemy, fire a full broadside, and just fucking delete everything in their path. But the day would come that the V-100s would finally arrive, and they fucking sucked. The improvised gun trucks made by the men on the ground would prove vastly superior. It is estimated that two to three hundred of these trucks were made, but the only one to ever make it back to American soil was the Eve of Destruction. Or you can now go see it at the Army Transportation Museum in Fort Eustis, Virginia. In conclusion, never make America improvise or you'll probably end up on the shittier end of a Mad Max type situation. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Merch and other links are available at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out!